Get in, loser. We're going hiking. Today, we're not in Massachusetts. We're actually in Rhode Island at the Satuous, how did he say to say it? We're not in Massachusetts anymore. We're in Rhode Island today at the Satuous Wildlife Preserve Refuge. Satuous Wildlife Refuge. two main trails here. Um, we're starting here at the visitor center in the parking lot right here, and we're gonna do the Flint Point Trail, which is this one right here. But there's also the Ocean View Loop Trail, which goes down this way. If we can, we might do both, but um, if not, we're gonna start with this one first and see what that one's like. It's a decent sized free parking lot here, so we give it a five for parking. here are flat and mostly gravel and so they're definitely stroller friendly so for that reason we give this a five for terrain we're starting with the flint overlook no. we're starting with the flint point loop but the trails here are clearly marked with these signs and they're incredibly well marked you really you can't get lost here so it's a five for navigation as well much in terms of shade here so wear a hat put your sunscreen on maybe don't come in the middle of the day when the sun is at its highest uh, intensity in the summer but the scenery here is unbelievable places on the trail where you can access the shoreline. It's a little bit rocky, but it's kind of cool to explore. There's a lot of rocks. You can get up close to the water. You can build some of these, uh, what are these things called? Carns. There's a whole bunch here. So it's actually pretty cool. This might actually be nicer at night because right now it's kind of hot, but it's still pretty cool.
what would you guys rate this for interest level? Five. No, four. Four. Four? Okay, yeah. why? Because, because um, the um, rocks were interesting, the views were interesting, and the museum was interesting. And, and if we brought fish and rods, we probably would have given it a five. Okay, but we also were almost going to give it a three, right? Because the trails are kind of flat and the trails themselves maybe aren't that interesting, but those out uh, those um, paths out to the water were pretty cool where you could climb on the rocks, right? And the lookouts were cool. And there were some pretty cool displays at the museum too, right? So we give it a four overall for interest level. And this trail is not pet friendly, so leave your dogs at home. It is wheelchair accessible along the trail itself, although there are some places where you, there are some access points to the rocky beaches down below, and those are not wheelchair accessible. And this place would also be stroller friendly, uh, again, for the trail itself, but maybe not those access points. Way home from Satchwisset. What was the name of that place again? Satchusset? Satchwist? Satchwit? Satchwist is right near Newport, but Newport has so much to do that it's almost better to leave it and do it your own, do its own separate trip to Newport. So on your way home from Satchwist, there's a place called the Newport Vineyard here, which is really awesome. It's a winery, they have a tap room, there's a restaurant, it's a great place to stop for lunch. You can sit outside if it's a nice day. So that's what we did and we highly recommend this place. We just had some of the most excellent clam chowder I've ever had here at this outdoor uh, patio, um, as well as pretzels, kind of tap room kind of style food. But we highly recommend it if you are looking for a place to stop for lunch on your way back home from this hike. In the lee of a picturesque ridge lies a small, unpretentious winery. One that pampers its fruits like its own babies. Hi, I'm Moira Rose. And if you love fruit wine as much as I do, then you'll enjoy the craftsmanship and quality of a local vintner. pretty good about finding the good ice cream places in an area and so we've discovered Anna D's on the way home from uh, Sat Satchwest, I cannot pronounce the name of this place, Satchwest, Sat Satchwest, anyway, whatever the place is called. Uh, Anna D's has got sandwiches, paninis, uh, it's a bakery, they've got iced coffee, regular coffee, espresso, and a, bar. and a bar, and they've got ice cream and they had some really cool flavors like Play-Doh, uh, the typical flavors you'd expect and some really good milkshakes as well. So if you're looking for another place and don't really want to stop at the winery or tap room, this is another place we'd recommend on the way home. Continue exploring with us by clicking on one of these great videos. At South Shore Family Adventures, we're on a mission to share the best hiking trails and adventures the South Shore has to offer. If you have a suggestion for a place we should check out, leave us a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.